വെൽക്കം സെവൻ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ടു യുവർ ഫോർത്ത് ജോഗ്രഫി ക്ലാസ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടു ക്ലാസ്സസ് ഐ ഹാവ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദ ലെസൺ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ഓൾ ആർ വാച്ചിങ് മൈ വീഡിയോ ആൻഡ് റീഡിങ് ദ ലെസൺ നൗ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ എക്സസൈസസ് ഓൺ പേജ് സിക്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ആൻസർ ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നൗ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ആൻ എക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം I explained to you all what is an ecosystem. Ecosystem means the plants and animals, all living organisms. They depend upon the surrounding, the interdependent. They depend on the surrounding. They depend on the surrounding. Depending on the surrounding, we can't live. So that relation is called what? Ecosystem. That is the relation between the organism and their surrounding. Organism means plants and animals. We human beings also included in that. So that's called ecosystem. Now what do you mean by natural environment? Now what is natural environment? Now we all have learned about air, land, water. Then, then uh, where water and land together forms. bio biosphere so lithosphere atmosphere then hydrosphere and biosphere all these are natural environment and that it uh, this also belong biotic and abiotic biotic means all plants and animals abiotic means land that's called so these are natural environment. then the next one which are the major components of the environment that day when i am taking the lesson i have drawn on the board and explained to you all what are the components components one side natural one is human made then human so what all natural i told you lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere biosphere these are the natural environment then that not natural that is what human made that's what road buildings houses then what all industries all these are railways all these are made by human beings then human themselves form what what all individual uru vyakti then comes family then comes community then after community comes economic activities all that religious economic activities some other varamaya temple uh, churches mosque adokke pinne kudada economic act offices angane thorun idokke humans all these are the components of environment now the next one now examples also along with the notes i'll be sending to you all now what is a lithosphere now what land lithosphere mean the solid crust of the earth and on soil ee mannu ulla bhagam land ulla bhaga kara that all comes under lithosphere the top layer of the earth where we all are living where the roads are being constructed where the houses are being constructed buildings a bhagathana we will say what lithosphere now the next one the two the what are the two major components of biotic environment biotic means plants and animals now the next one what is biosphere biosphere means what the plants animals water idu moonu form eyum adayidu lithosphere uh, hydrosphere atmosphere aa bhagatha nammal human beings undavuga aa oru life bhagatha the plants and animals together make the biosphere and the world now the next one tick the correct answer the first one which is not a natural ecosystem desert aquarium forest forest is natural desert also natural which is not natural human made aquarium so that's not natural which is not a component of human environment human environment means what individual family community religious economic activity appo adil edana illathathu religion und community also is there land land is not a human environment which is a a the component aanu land is a component of environment but it's not a human environment component varumbam natural human made ellam verum component idu they are asking human environment so land is not a human environment 
which is a human made environment manushyan undaki environment what here comes mountain manushyan undaki no see no road road is made by human being which is a threat to environment endana or bhishni nammala environment in growing plants growing population growing crops which growing population ee population koodum thoraana nammal adokka vetti telichi building okka verunathu isn't it that's a threat to the environment growing population now next is what match the following biosphere one side a biosphere atmosphere hydrosphere environment so biosphere is what biosphere is a narrow zone where land water and air interact e e e is the answer atmosphere atmosphere you know blanket of air which surrounds the earth a hydrosphere domain of water la vellathinte bhagathilana we'll say what hydrosphere b environment environment means our surrounding namma chuttuvadum that's what environment that's what match the following then next is what give reason give reason there are two in number isn't it what is the first one give reason that is uh, man modifies his environment man modifies his environment what's the meaning of that nammala manushyamar koodum thoru namukku aavashyangal koodum our needs will increase appo nammala aavashyangal koodum thoru nammala environment maari maari veru suppose uh, people need a house to live appo avadu oru veedu undakkum people need again more people need apartment then office venam railway station angane oru aavashyangal koodum thoraanu nammala environment maari kondi irikkunathu i and my that's what man modifies his environment the next one plants and animals depend on each other we depend on each other no plants during day time gives out oxygen you all have studied in science photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis what in that process of water uh, photosynthesis carbon dioxide is used and oxygen is given out appa plants oxygen kodukumbo we human beings animals taken oxygen angane we plants and animals depend upon each other nammal parasparam so all these notes i'll be sending along with this video and one activity is there that i hope you all will be able to do uh, imagine an ideal environment where you love to live അല്ല നിങ്ങളെ എൻവയൺമെന്റ് അല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എവിടെയാണ് ഇഷ്ടം താമസിക്കാൻ ആ ഒരു ചുറ്റുപാടുള്ള എൻവയൺമെന്റ് എങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടാകും ദാറ്റ് യു ആൾ ഡ്രോ ദ പിക്ചർ ഓഫ് ആൻ ഐഡിയൽ എൻവയൺമെന്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ഫോർ ടു ഡേയ്സ് ക്ലാസ് താങ്ക